<laughs> like, I can't stress enough. Like, it was like, if you, like, took, like, a wrong step, if you stepped on, like, the wrong rock or something, and you went down, you're, like, going to fall down, like, a yeah. 50, 100 feet or something like that onto just a bunch of boulders yeah. with a big-ass pack. So yeah. you couldn't really fuck around. There's no, you couldn't do anything. It was, it was one of the toughest experiences of my life, but also one of those experiences that was, like, a wrong step can be life or death right now. The Philosophy Chronicles. Everyone, what is going on today? My name is Philip Mitcha. It is so good to see your beautiful, smiling faces here once again. Welcome to The Philosophy Chronicles. This is my first podcast, uh, first episode. We have a real treat. Today we're talking about how we almost died backpacking in Tahoe's Desolation Wilderness, but... He is a man that needs no introduction, but I'm going to give him one because he deserves it. That doesn't make any sense. But um, Seth Lawrenson, take it away. Who are you? Why are you here? And why were we backpacking? Um, So I'm Seth. Um, I do things and stuff. I'm a guy. I play in bands and things. Um, I'm in the C4 Cinema. I'm in Dad's Underwear. Um, I do that. I do stuff. Nice. Um, I've been friends with Phil forever. Forever. Yeah, we met in band in high school like high school band and we were like going to competitions and true we started our first band together she was crazy in high school yeah yeah Yeah, or my first band technically but yeah because i was i was in some bands with yeah i mean we played music we We, we we played music together we've known each other for a while and what's insane is we were talking before this show before this episode is um we this was the only time we'd been backpacking which this backpacking trip was insane it was absolutely wild yeah when i tell you we almost died and i mean multiple times almost died in tahoe's desolation wilderness um and it felt like four trips five trips i feel like i've been backpacking with you multiple times because of this one insane trip no straight up we were talking about this before and i was like okay but like there's this time where we slept by this different lake and he was like no this is the same exact trip and i was like wait what yeah like i literally thought like there were so many different things that happened during that thing i literally thought it was different trips yeah that day was uh just insane um but it's cool so we're gonna get right into it we um we're gonna tell the story of how we almost died multiple times um because it's something that we haven't discussed in a bit either like Not we've really. like told like other people about it. I I know I've told people about it. Um, and you were saying the other day that you've you've told people about it, but we haven't like come together and like really figured it out. True. And like reflected on it, which should be fun. Um, so you want to give a little background of like why we were there, what we were doing out there? Um, and, um yeah. Yeah. I think we just wanted like backpack and stuff, just kind of get away. Like that was the whole vibe. Um. I think the other important part to preference this with is um both of us have been backpacking like a lot beforehand. Like um I've gone For on a sure. bunch of trips, he's gone on a bunch of trips too. So we're like, damn, we can finally go together and yeah. like, do all this stuff. Um we went up to like Tahoe Desolation, um, Desolation Wilderness. Um it's kinda like between Tahoe and Truckee. It's just like lakes and trees. It's pretty yeah. dope. Yeah, yeah. It starts off by this big lake. I forget the name of it. Um the first big lake, Echo Lake, yeah, is what it was. Because there's an upper and a lower Echo Lake. And there's just like houses all around it. The only way you get to these houses is by boat, which is a pretty sweet. I always think if I was gonna write an album or something, it'd be sick to like rent one of those houses or write a book True. or like just like get away for a bit. Those are the houses I would want to like you rent for a couple boat? months. <laughs> yeah, no one's bothering you. True. Like it's just like peaceful. You're just on this lake. It's beautiful. Um, so you get there and. We got to say that we weren't expecting snow. And when we got there, there was no snow, no snow on the roads, maybe a little bit like on the drive up there, but um, no snow on the roads, no snow on the entrance of the trail. So we thought we'd be fine. And we were planning on going like, I think like seven to 10 miles in. Yeah. Something like that. That was like the the end goal. That was like where we're going to stay that night, the first night. And then we're going to come back um, the rest of the way. And I think at this point we are planning on doing a couple of days. So we had like 40, 50 pound backpacks. Yeah. Each. On. So that's something that, yeah, each, um, that's something to think about is like, I think you had like the tent and stuff and I had like our food and kitchen supplies. Yeah. And um, we, yeah, it was, it was a lot to carry, but um, 
we were ready. We were ready. We were ready for anything except <laughs> what happened. Yeah, except what actually happened. So, um, I don't know. I guess uh, to like intro it in, we got there like a little later than we thought. Yeah, I think we got there around like noon or one or something like mm-hmm. that. Just a little later than a, than you want for a backpacking trip. Yeah, especially because we were planning on going in like pretty far the first night. Like I can't remember exactly where um, we were planning on staying in that Lake Aloha, if I remember right, or it was either Lake Aloha or the Lake. Right it was past the next it. light Lake past it. Yeah, which was probably like I think that's seven miles in or so. So, so yeah, go ahead. Uh, I don't know. What I was gonna <laughs> say. Um, but no, when we got there, there was no snow. And we thought we were fine. This is probably like right after winter. Um, so we thought the snow had melted. It was warm. We were talking earlier about this and like our nights weren't bad or anything. No, I think like, I brought like one sweater for the whole trip yeah. and I was chilling. And like, it, was, it was fine. Yeah. Um, so that's when everything started going downhill, I think, is when we found snow. And yeah. That was like Aloha, which I think is about like three, four miles in. And um, once we started finding snow... The trail started disappearing bits at a time. Um, do you remember bits of that, or like what? What was your thoughts when we start, first started like um, losing track of the trail? I remember at first we were basically just um, when um, we first like saw the snow and we were seeing like treks through the snow. We we're like, okay, we can just like follow the footprints and mm-hmm. that kind of thing. But I remember sure. it just getting harder and harder and harder, and we we're like, damn, there's like a rock that like looks like some people have been walking by. Yeah. Let's go that way. Yeah, and just kept getting more and more like. I don't know where I'm going yeah. as time went on. Yeah, that's right. And I don't know if like many people have been to Desolation Wilderness, but there's a lot of parts of the trail that are just on rock for like 100 feet, 50 feet or whatever. Mm-hmm. And you get that mixed with snow staying there. And it's like, there's no trail. Um, and that's where it went wrong. It got to a point where we went right instead of left. And uh, we ended up, where did we end up? So. <laughs> um, so basically, um, this lake was on. It kind of like surrounded like a big canyon. Um, the trail is over on the left side, like kind of going down, and then we ended up on the cliff's face over on the right side, basically staring across the lake where we could see the trail that we were supposed to yeah. be on. And basically, the only thing between us was a giant body of water and a big ass cliff that yeah. was full of boulders. <laughs> yeah, and and not like boulders that you climb around and climb on like rocks this big that have fallen into place are not stable are not just you know <laughs> they're slipping they're slipping and <laughs> they're sliding slipping. down that flipping hill and um what do we do so i think we talked about it we set down our backpacks at the start and we kind of discussed it a little bit we're like all right option one is to hike the mile back and then that mile into like where we can see right there. Right. Or two is like, I'm tired. It's getting dark. We got to get across this thing. Yeah. That's the other thing. We got to get was, down there. It was like already the sun was starting to set and stuff too. So yeah. we're like, we're, we're trying to make it to this place. So we're like, we can't, we don't really have time to waste all. Yeah. Yeah. And we're like, I remember us thinking like if we actually went back around. It probably would have taken us way longer. Yeah. Like we would have been hiking in the dark for most of the night or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So yeah, <laughs> we decided to, <laughs> To trek down this thing, um, and when I when we say cliff, it it was down, straight down. It, yeah, like an option that we thought after going down this thing was should we throw our packs, our fifty pound packs? Like that's gonna slow us down. That's gonna hurt us because I remember the whole time you'd slide or you'd step wrong and your pack. Your, the momentum of your pack or the weight of it would like start to flip you sideways or something. Yeah. Dude, there's so many times where I'm like, I'm going over. Yeah. The pack's going to flip me over. The pack's going to like pull me to the side. Maybe it gets stuck on something and I'm, I'm flying down this hill. True. I was surfing on those boulders at points. Dude, yeah. <laughs> like I would just go down a couple of feet and I'm like, all right, oh, I'm going to hop off yeah. now. <laughs> like, I remember like I, after probably like 20 minutes of it, 20, 30 minutes of it, we kind of were getting separated because it's like at a point, I don't know if you guys have been in like, like skiing situations like that or like rock climbing or something like that. Like your path is your own path. You see what you can do and what you're capable of when you like... Yeah, you see your path. And so I saw the path to like more of the right and Seth was seeing it like left and kind of zigzagging down or so. I'd be zigzagging. But um, <laughs> 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 um, but after a while, it was just like 20, 30 minutes. Like it was like, I don't know where Seth is. 
I don't think he knows where I am. And it's like, yeah, we could yell at e- yell to each other, but it's we're so caught up. Every step is so important. Every footprint, every like fucking boulder is so important that it's yeah. going to slide out that like, yeah, we are so caught up in our own little world, our own little presence at that point um, that I remember every like five minutes or so we would just be like, ah, ah, ah. And I'm like, you good? You good? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> like, I can't stress enough. Like, it was like, if you like took like a wrong step, if you stepped on like the wrong rock or something, you went down, you're like going to fall down like a yeah. 50, 100 feet or something like that onto just a bunch of boulders yeah. with a big ass pack. So yeah. you couldn't really fuck around. There's no, you couldn't do anything. It was, it was one of the toughest experiences of my life, but also one of those experiences that was like a wrong step can be life or death right now yeah totally Uh, like i wasn't even like thinking about how terrifying it was in the moment i was just thinking about the next step yeah yeah, i was just like i need to just keep going down yeah um and another thing to like kind of preference preface from this is that this far out once people started losing track of where the trail was they turned around Uh, and it's not even like the fact that they like um (laughs) they lost trail they were just like i'm not going out this far if something bad happened to either one of us we're just yelling for help. No one would have came till probably the next morning. Yeah. Hours. Yeah. Hours and hours. So eventually we got down to the bottom. It was, it felt like a day or two. It yeah. felt like a whole lifetime trying to go down that stuff. Um, and we ended up meeting at the bottom and at the bottom it isn't, wasn't just a trail. Like we're still boulder hopping. We're still walking over yeah. boulders that are, sliding slipping around um and to get to the trail we had to trek around this body of water um and then cross a like a stream that was actually rushing pretty fast yeah it was pretty deep too um at the end of it there was a waterfall too that we could see that was like yeah 100 or so feet or something yeah. like that i remember we like made it to the stream and we we're like we can't cross right here so we walked down the stream pretty far yeah um at least like down to where we found a spot and uh do you want to tell them the other kind of thing we found well so we found um the only way that we could figure out to wait to get across the stream was we found this big ice bridge where it was basically just all the snow and stuff that is compacted over but it was literally like a bridge like you could see like there was like a good like 10 15 foot drop under it yeah and well, we're and like, the water just rushing under it yeah it was just keep, kept going but we're like all right that's, that's literally the only way we can go yeah so we're gonna go yeah um, 50 pound backpacks on going over this ice bridge any second over that. I think we went one at a time just to yeah. make sure, um, any second could have broken. We are now in freezing water that's rushing down and then ending resulting in a waterfall. <laughs> and then it's like, there's another whole situation True. that if this went left, we were done for. True. Honestly, walking over that ice bridge was probably scarier for me than walking down yeah, the cliff. Yeah, time like, time froze, dude. Yeah, straight up. Like, it was, it was shorter of a distance from yeah. the top of that cliff to the bottom, but it was every every shifting of your weight mattered. Mm-hmm. Every like, yeah, every, like there was so much to put into consideration, and it was like you can't throw your pack across. You no. can't give it to like me or something like nah. because now i'm too heavy or like whatever like that was bad um not a good time no but in the end out of everything that happened um we made it yeah we made it totally fine like literally without a scratch it was kind of crazy uh we literally made camp that night um <laughs> yeah some other stuff ensued after that but it was it was a time Somehow we made it through the whole thing unscathed. Yeah, which is wild. So wild. Because I think in that in that moment, we were so tired. We were so mentally exhausted as well um, that we were just like, let's just go to sleep. And then, and then when you're out backpacking, you're also not like, you're not really contemplating things. You're just like so in the moment. Yeah. And it's not till you get in the car and start driving away that you're like, did that just happen? Did True. I just like go through that experience? I remember like the first time after coming back and telling that story to someone, I was like, damn, we almost died or something. Yeah. Like that was yeah, yeah. not a good thing to but do. But you didn't 
realize it till you had that conversation with someone. Yeah, exactly. Because at the time when we were doing it, I was just like, all right, this is just what we have to do. Yeah. Is either we go down this big ass boulder hill and like almost die or we walk three miles around this thing and walk in the dark. Yeah. Yeah. Which we were dedicated to get to that end goal because it was beautiful, yeah. dude. That, yeah, that lake so at the end was beautiful. We found a great spot. Um, not many people were out that far. No. So it was like we had that whole lake to ourselves. Um, it was awesome. It, I forget the lake's name, which I kind of like that I don't know the lake's name right now. Right. Because I can't say it. But um, it was awesome. What, um, what's something that you think you like learned from that? Because it's been a couple years now. True. Since we've been. done it. Um, um, that you've thought about because I know we think about it and talk about it a lot. Yeah. Have you like realized something from it or? Um, I mean, a lot of that trip. Um, it's funny because so the day after that, um, I remember you went to go meditate or something, and you just went up and climbed on a big hill. So I was like, I'm gonna go do something. Yeah. So I just went and climbed on like a big um ice dune, and I just sat up there for like an hour and a half, and it was like the craziest like mental fucking thing I ever done. Yeah. Like, up to that point, like, that whole trip was, like, a huge thing for me. Yeah. Like, I mean, I guess, like, anytime I'm out um, doing, like, wilderness stuff or, like, backpacking and stuff like that, it's always, like, a time to, like, contemplate and do that kind of thing. Definitely. But I think especially with that trip, just of well, how hard we were physically going, um, it definitely made me, like, appreciate that a lot more. Yeah. Especially, like, just when you're, like, damn, I'm about to die, but everything is so pretty around yeah. me. This is crazy. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I think I really saw it as a, like, I don't know, that difference between, like, being alive and kind of truly living. Mm -hmm. um, because that was, like, the reason we were out there. We were, like, trying to get away. We were trying to, like, truly live in right. a sense. Um, and I think that kind of aspect of it was, like, we don't need to, like, go through those dying things to, like, get to somewhere beautiful. You know, like, I think I would have been completely fine backtracking and just staying at Aloha or something right. and finding an even beautiful spot to hang out there um, and, like, doing the things there. Like, maybe going swimming there. Like, we would have had more daylight or something right. to do there. So I was, like, I always think of that where it's whatever we have, like, planning in our head, that usually changes. Right. And to just go with that kind of the flow of what's going on. Yeah. Um, but we didn't need to go through that whole cliff thing but i think remember that oh dude i'm gonna find it i'm gonna put it up right oh. here um on the screen but remember that picture we got i think it was when we first climbed down the hill remember i like yeah. i got that selfie of us i was yeah, like yeah, dude, yeah. we just did this right now true um so i'm gonna find it it's it's in my archive somewhere hell yeah i know it is um but it, it was i think needed yeah, like totally. to go through something like that. Yeah, totally. Um, cause you hear about that stuff all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, you hear about like backpacking across the country or across like a state or something. And like these crazy experiences of like getting off trail or the trail is super hard and you got to get through this. And it's like, we got through it. Yeah. And, and that's like what matters. Yeah, totally. I kind of like what you're saying too before. Like we didn't even like need to like go down a big ass cliff or we could have just stayed at a different lake, but we like, we we're like, we have a goal in mind and we're just going to yeah. do it. Yeah. And I think it's now we can tell this story instead of being like, oh, we slept at a lake that was like two miles in. Yeah. And then it was a good day. Yeah. And then now it can be like, we almost died in exactly. Tahoe on a big cliff. Yeah. And I think that's going into it. That's what we were thinking. Like, we weren't thinking we we're going to die. Like you were saying, like, yeah. we didn't think that at the time. We were just like, let's just do it. Mm -hmm. Like adventure is in front of us right now. Yeah. I'd rather go adventure than just like go set up camp. Mm -hmm. like two minutes that way exactly something. like we were down and we were determined like to follow this path that was <laughs> this non-path that was like leading us uh to this area and yeah it could have been really bad looking back at it but like in the moment it was kind of fun yeah i mean i think it was fun in the moment yeah, i definitely no, that's what i mean you know, yeah like, there was times where it's was like uh, uh is this the right thing but i think um a lot of it was just like wow this is beautiful wow like i can't believe i'm in this moment right here experiencing this right now i think a good way to describe it is like i was scared the whole time but i was never like afraid yeah oh like, that's great yeah yeah like i was like 
damn, this is terrifying what I'm doing, but also I'm so stoked on the whole thing. Yeah. Like just the fact that we can do something like this, like I can be on a cliff side or like walking on a big ice bridge yeah. in the middle of the wilderness with a 50 pound bag. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. With like all my belongings on my yeah. back, like, like the things that's going to help me survive. Um, so yeah, that was probably our most insane story together. True. How we almost died in Tahoe's desolation wilderness. Thank you guys for listening. Thank that was a that was a crazy time. I We're was. gonna have some more stories together. I'm True. gonna hear some more stories from you. Hell yeah! And um, yeah, thanks guys for being here, listening to uh, the Philosophy Chronicles. Um, we got some awesome stuff. We're gonna hear some from some awesome people, uh, telling their stories, telling their memories. This is definitely a time that changed our life forever, for sure. Um, whether that be for the better or for the worse. Um, it definitely changed who we are as yeah. people. So thanks for being here, listening, signing off. Any last words uh, until we, after that? Y'all are sick, bro. <laughs> awesome. Hell yeah. Peace out, guys. Have a good day, night, wherever you are. Much love. Y'all beautiful. See you next time.